Hi hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Relapse Tackle. Um, so I'm going to step away from pouring jigs today. I actually got a cheap little kit, and the beads are all scattered all over during shipping. This is not a very good box, but um, this is a cheap inline spinner kit from um, Amazon. So I figured I would throw a couple of these inline spinners together. Um, and customize them a little bit so watch the video give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe for more if you haven't already all right, all right so get your wire your little through wire got some different beads there's two different sizes in this kit two different colors i'm more partial to the silver color than the gold but you can kind of mix it up however you want. Um, these ones, this kit has uh, willow blades, so there's hammered ones, and there's smooth finish in both colors. So kind of a you can choose what you want. You can mix them. You can mix them together, you can have them all one color. That's kind of the neat thing about these kits. It might be a cheap kit, but you have a bunch of different options. You can just customize something and figure out what works the best for you. I'm going to slide this clevis on here. And I want that to go around the body of this. I want another one of these bigger beads. I'm going to use my needle nose pliers. Now I got a small bead up to the front, big bead, the clevis with a hammered style willow blade, another bead. Then I'm going to put the cupped end of this. The side's flat. I'm put the cup towards my bead there. And you can put multiple multiple on there if you wanted. It's gonna make it heavier. You can just go single. And then they have two different size treble hooks. These hooks really aren't the greatest, but they look like they might be a a must add or something but um you could get better hooks put them on there if you wanted and then um just play around with different different styles another bead back here like i said you can mix different colors dang it You could also get different beads. So if you wanted to use glass beads on there, um, and figure out what you want. Make it make it your own. Um, another thing I got is this cheap um, pliers for bending the wire, so that I can attach my hooks make a loop a little easier so what i'll do is i'll just bend a little loop you can leave the wire kind of loose just bend it around all right and you just want to shape that wire a little bit Now it gets a little bit more tricky. You don't want to get poked by that. So what I'll do is I'll put that on my pliers again. And then wrap it. Stab myself in the finger.
and you just want to take your time don't don't want to hurt yourself you want to make sure that hook doesn't come off of there so you're going to want i would say two to three wraps around the more wraps the better but like i said be careful so you don't stab yourself on that hook and i'm just holding the wire and then turning it with my finger you could grab another pliers I like using smooth jaw, needle nose. You could just once that started to wrap, you could just grab a hold of it and wrap it around a few more times. I would stick this tool in there and just wrap it around. But I figured it would be kind of different to do something, do something different. And a lot of people that don't pour jigs and stuff could get this kit and kind of make something of their own. You could also take, like I said, different, um, different beads. You could take bottle caps, anything laying around add to it customize it once once that gets shorter you grab a cutters be careful because this will go flying if you're not hanging on to it snip that off and I try to wrap it around again so that you don't have to get worry about getting poked by that wire that's sticking out so you can see i cut it off but it's still sticking out just a little bit and now it has a sharp edge so i'm going to hold on to my wire again and just wrap it tighter to the wire down in the middle it might take a little little bit to get it this is the first one that I made out of this kit um, and you can get hooks that are already dressed up with feathers and stuff on them or just run without just like this um, and you can get different hooks if you wanted to put like an EWG hook on there and run a short soft plastic on it. You can go weedless back here and still have your spoon going around um, while you're pulling it through the water. So there you have it though. It's a pretty nifty little kit if you want to just start out and start making things. Um, and then obviously if you want to keep going and getting bigger and bigger things, work yourself up to making something like this. I did not make this one. This is from a new breed. This is a new breed musky bait. Um, but you know, obviously just a little bit of a difference in size. This would work really well for trout and I mean, even crappie and other panfish, uh, bass, all kinds of stuff would bite on this. Um, but you could you could add, you know, stuff like this tinsel and stuff to them. And if you see how they got their treble hook added in there too up front, you could you could do that with a couple split rings. Do the same thing to something like this. Just keep in mind that you don't want the spinners going around and smacking the hooks. You're going to want to make sure that there's enough room for everything on there. 
to move freely. And this will also vibrate and, and smack up against this body and make vibrations and stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you want, I can do more videos like this where I'm not pouring stuff and I'm just, you know, fidgeting with different kits and stuff that you could buy offline. Um, let me know in the comments. And then um, be sure to give the video a like and share it. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more. Um, <clears throat> kind of kicking this cold. I've been kind of not feeling the greatest lately, so I haven't been putting out too many videos. But um, I plan on continuing making more videos, and hopefully you all enjoy them. So. Thanks again. I'm going to see you guys around.